enjoyed their swim, enjoy their recreation, and it's in danger of being taken away. Should they have really? To get this pool built. Did you? Did you really? Yeah. 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 And it was only with the help of Bill's father, who was a councillor, mm -hmm. and the then Premier, Henry Bolte, that mm -hmm. we got it started. Mm -hmm. So that would have been back in the 60s? 52. 52. <laughs> We've been watching that being flooded. I don't know where that water's coming from when the creek was empty, the drains were empty, the dams were empty. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you could find out where that water came from. Yes, you could. Yeah, yeah. I, I have no idea how. And uh, they've only just put the water in Lily Pond House from local drains. trying to, to lower the cost to the community by running an integrated facility rather than having separate facilities. Now, this was placed here and this is well located for the population. So Can I just ask, the, um, there is a 50 sure, metre pool on... Um, if I could yeah. just finish. The population is actually down here. So we're actually putting this centre amongst the population. Where is the percent. population coming from? Well, it's coming from immigration into Australia. Right. Uh, so you're, you're not a great, against immigration, are you? Well, I'm against uh, people having their town moved on them. You're, you're, you're against providing accommodation for immigrants into Australia? Um, I would say that uh, there's a real housing problem for Australians at the moment. So you're, you're, you're against... Are you against privileging immigrants the, uh, over no, but you're, you're citizens? Against, you're against providing housing for new settlers in Australia and, and growing families in Australia. Is that your um, reason for uh, doing what the residents apparently don't want and charging them a hundred dollar uh, tax and no, refusing no. to fix their pool? No, you're actually Do wrong. you think that's right? Right? You're wrong. You're wrong. Why am I wrong? Because the council has a rating strategy that actually changes the burden, that, that redistributes the load, and that's the, and part of its redistribution is using a different form of taxation. So that's the first question. And the second thing, we, we are waiting for a, a community group led by um, Ms. Sheldon and Smith to give us a proposal as to how they want to run, if, if they're inclined to open the old pool, how they run it. 
So um, unfortunately, the unfortunately, was built unfortunately, by you've come in here. Unfortunately, you've come in here, and the community is welcome to keep on visiting. Unfortunately, you've come in here with the wrong story, and everything that you've said is 100% in error. Uh, do you realise there are protests all over Australia against this We have got plumbers, concreters, mm -hmm. we've got builders, everyone interested in wanting to do refurbish the pool in a community building, as a community building exercise. We have got huge development. Yeah. Our town has already doubled in its population in the last four years. And they that's, are where are those people coming from? From this inner city and um, suburbs like Roeville, places like that. I asked the um, CEO, he said they were coming from immigration from uh, overseas immigration. Oh, so that's so his implication. Well, some people would definitely come via immigration, but that that's not the majority of the population we're seeing. From what I see in Pakenham, in the Cardinia Shire, mm -hmm. there's not a lot of refugees here. I work in another municipality and I'm seeing a lot of refugees coming into that municipality. That's not occurring in Pakenham as yet. Do you realise that refugees only make up a very, very tiny oh, part absolutely. of the immigration program? Yes. It's mainly business migration. Um, and I do. Okay, so it sounds like that is what's driving this population upwards uh, into areas like Pakenham. How do you feel about that? Well, I don't have a problem with it. What I'd like to do is provide them with a good 50 metre outdoor swimming pool to use. Okay. And to have adequate fit swimming and recreation facilities for everybody. And at the moment, if we get a 25 metre indoor pool, yes. and they close our 20 metre, which is earmarked for closure when they build this one, then the people that are already fully booked in the 20 metre pool are going to move across to the 25 metre pool, which gives us five square metres of extra swimming or extra water for how many of the population that's doubled in you know, the last four to five years? Yes, and yet you say that that's not a problem. Well, he says it's not a problem. There doesn't seem to be a person on, around on the street that doesn't see that as a major issue. We need two pools. CEO, whose name is... Um, Don Welsh. Don Welsh. Uh, that the reason they were building this centre was because they had the land and the population density was here. The population was here. The main population was here. And yet you're telling me that the population is not here. It's so what not, are the figures approximately? It's extraordinary that we have just hit a thousand people here thousand in the, Del in here. the Dolphin. Right. Estate. Just this week hit a thousand people yes. resident here in the Delphin Estate. So where are the most of the population? Pakenham. Pakenham, around the Pakenham district there are more than 8,000 people. And they're all off around this land? The, off, off this land and off totally away, at least a kilometre away from this Much closer to the other pool. Much closer to the other pool. Within walking distance or riding a bicycle. All right, well, the impression I got was that uh, the people were going to be coming from immigration from somewhere. Um, how do you see that uh, when most of the people are over the other side with the big pool? How do you feel about being charged to build this for a bunch of people who aren't even here yet, who aren't even paying rates yet? And if he's saying that it's immigration...